If you don't like Brussels sprouts or just think you don't like Brussels sprouts, try them this way because they will convert you from a hater to a lover. They did me, they did my husband, no more mushy, nasty Brussels sprouts. These have a cider glaze. They're roasted, so they're crunchy and they're crispy. And of course they have bacon. So anything you add bacon to is going to be better, right? So let's get into it and I'll show you how easy it is to make these Brussels sprouts. We start by putting some bacon pieces in a 400 degree oven for five minutes. And then we're going to get the glaze on the stove, which is cider apple cider not apple cider vinegar uh, brown sugar and a little bit of balsamic vinegar and what we're going to do is reduce this by at least half you're going to end up with like a really thick and syrupy glaze so it'll come to about maybe two tablespoons so this whole process takes about 15 minutes or so. And then we coat our halved Brussels sprouts with olive oil, salt, and pepper. This comes together super quick. So if you're looking for a last minute Thanksgiving side or just for any time of the year, you've got to try this because I'm telling you, I could stand over this bowl and just eat these Brussels sprouts all day long. So the bacon's out of the oven. It's slightly, just slightly um, crispy on one side. We're adding the Brussels sprouts to it. And then of course, uh, stir it up really well. So everything gets coated in the bacon grease and everything else. And what I like to do is then flip over every one of those Brussels sprouts halves because I want like maximum caramelization on the bottom of the Brussels sprouts. You don't have to do that, but that's just me. I love them that way because they get really like caramelized and crunchy and that's the best part. They come out of the oven minutes later, about 15 minutes. And then we're going to drizzle the glaze on them. See how thick and rich this glaze is. It's syrupy. It's delicious. Toss them around again to make sure that everything is well coated in the cider glaze. And then we're going to put them back in the oven for five minutes. And that is it, you guys, another simple recipe. And if you decide to try this recipe and think you don't like Brussels sprouts, please let me know what you think about it because I really was blown away. My husband was blown away. I just could not believe how crunchy and crispy a Brussels sprout actually could be. So I hope you enjoy this recipe.